Hey folks, it's Robert and that behind me, well, that's going to be the Venture Sport Trek Touring 312 VBH. It's a little bit bougie. She's a little pricey. That's okay. You deserve nice things. You work hard. This unit's going to be about 35 feet long. It's going to sleep six in their own beds. You've got a master bedroom that you're going to want to escape and hide out into. I can promise that. A second fireplace, all those goodies that you enjoy. You can go camping, glamping tailgating, whatever you want to do. Got a lot of friends out here that do the select league baseball and these trailers are invaluable for that. Those kids can get a place to go cool off or warm up. But anyway, let's do an extended touring video on this. Thanks for watching. My name is Robert. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can use all the help I can get. Thanks. All right, this 312 VBH. Let's forget about the floor plan for a moment and let's just go into the construction methods that they used. Let's notice something here. You've got a fiberglass cap. We see a lot of fiberglass trailers and they have a fiberglass cap, but did you ever notice there's different types? This one, for instance, from here all the way at the top, comes all the way down to the bottom. And that's going to be called a full fiberglass front cap, which they do. And then there's another one that they do, which is this one. Yes, it goes from top all the way down to the bottom on here, but look at this. It wraps around and it comes around the sides. So I don't have a screw edge up here on the front leading edge. I have durable fiberglass. It ain't going nowhere. It's not to say that the other trailers are lacking. It's just to say they were a less expensive trailer and they spent money elsewhere on the product. So over here, that's a three quarter cap. Another Sport Trek model, that's a non-Turing, so you get three-quarter cap on there, screws on that front leading edge, assembly is quicker, and you have less material costs. So this Turing model's got a huge benefit just on this front end. Another thing to notice, we do the oversized tanks on here. So we don't do the little five-gallon jobbers, we do the 10 each. Over here on the side, you'll see we have electric stabilizers, and these are gonna be independently run side to side. Over here you have manual stabilizers. On the Sport Trek you have framed windows. On the Touring model you have the frameless windows. Well, what's the difference, right? Well, there's a lot of difference. A framed window, we have exposed rubber and things that tend to cause black streak. You notice you get a little black streak going on, on out here. And of course, it makes my job hard because I have to explain that all day. And then you notice over here, you don't get that same black streaking. It just doesn't happen because you don't have exposed gaskets. You don't have that exposed rubber. So a great benefit right there. And I haven't even walked four feet through this trailer. Now, solid steps, that's going to be standard on both of them. We're going to have outdoor support for a television on both of them. We'll have outdoor kitchens on both of them. Floor plans, that's what decides whether we do a second door or not. You're going to get camera prep on both. You're going to get a hitch receiver on both. Rear ladder access. All those standard things that you expect to be in an RV, of course it's going to have that. Outdoor showers on both. 50 amp service. Two air conditioners. That's going to be standard on all of the units we have here. Let's go on into the inside. That's where the other part of the magic happens. Now the interiors will be pretty similar as far as color, style, all those things. But we do things a little bit different. Now in a lot of the bunkhouse models, we opt to do a booth over here. And that's simply so we can sleep two more kids over here. So you have the option to sleep eight in this trailer very comfortably. And if somebody will sleep in the recliner like me, well, you can put another two in there. So you could say you can sleep ten. Here you have those electric theater seats and you're going to have power usb on those over here is where you're going to be watching whether it's the fireplace television or both you've got wonderful kitchen like i said both of those things are pretty much the same on both the touring and the non-touring model it's up here where we get just a little bougie and i truly enjoy this you've got like this little oasis to come escape to you get a second fireplace You've got a dresser that's going to lift up so you can hide your guns and jewelry. You've got a day bed, so if you like to read, or maybe you want to hang out here with the grandkids, 
We've got a king bed on a slide, and that's what gives us all this extra room. So just a few differences between the Turing model and the non-Turing. And then a lot of the other things are just, you know, personal preference. And uh, that great bathroom on this unit. But anyway, those are some of the differences between the Sport Trek and the Sport Trek Turing. I hope that was beneficial to you. This one is the 312 VBH. As the namesake says, it's a bunk house model. But they are really great, aren't they? Folks, these Venture Sport Treks, especially the Touring models, are my favorite travel trailers. Um, I've seen a lot of different travel trailers, and these they just kind of hit it out of the park with floor plan, and they also kind of hit it out of the park with the amenities on these things. Yes, you know, price is going to be one of those things that all of the luxury trailers are going to have that price tag to go along with them. So if you want to do some regular camping, that's fine. I enjoy that too, but if you want to do some glamping, check out these Sport Trek Touring models. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. My name is Robert. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can use all the help I can get. I think you know that. Have a great day.